Bonjour et bienvenue à cette disponibilité médiatique de la secrétaire parlementaire du ministre du patrimoine canadien, Mme Julie de Bruton, sur l'état dans le comité du projet de loi C-10. Hello and welcome to the media availability of Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Canadian Heritage, Ms. Julie de Bruton, on the committee study of Bill C-10. Elle s'exprimera quelques instants et prendra vos questions par la suite. She will speak a few moments and will then take your questions. Merci. La parole est à vous, Mme de Bruton. Merci. Hello, everyone. Bonjour à toutes et tous. Today, I was happy to see the committee finally came together to find common ground. I'm relieved to see the Conservatives are finally listening to the cultural sector and stop their two weeks of unnecessary filibustering. The committee has invited both the Minister of Canadian Heritage as well as the Minister of Justice to join our committee on Friday, and we will have an expert panel that can speak to the issues that have been raised by the parties. Additionally, we are happy to see a charter statement coming that further addresses all parties' um, concerns that have been raised, and I look forward to seeing the content of this new statement. Let me remind everyone of a few important elements. An individual, someone like you and me, who uses social media will never be considered a broadcaster under this bill. That said, any obligations will only apply to big streamers not to Canadians. This is explicit under Section 2.1 of the bill. Additionally, proposed amendments to C-10 severely limit the powers of the CRTC to regulate social media platforms, exempting individual activities from any form of regulation. These revised, limited powers that we're giving to the CRTC for social media companies can be summarized in three points. The CRTC would have the power to request information from foreign companies on the revenues they generate in Canada from their broadcasting activities. The CRTC can also request that these companies invest a certain percentage of these revenues into Canadian productions. And the CRTC can request that platforms make it easier to discover and access Canadian stories and music. Nous ne partageons pas l'avis du Parti conservateur selon lequel la promotion des artistes canadiens entrave notre liberté d'expression. Bien au contraire, ce projet de loi la protège et agrandit nos possibilités de découverte. On this topic, I invite you to read the Minister's open letter in the Toronto Star this morning. Last Friday, Broadcasting and Telecommunications Legislative Review Panel experts Janet Yale, Pierre Trudel, Peter Grant, and Monique Simard also published a statement in support of Bill C-10 as amended. And I also invite you to read Kate Taylor from the Globe and Mail. The article's title is Dishonest Censorship Scare May Port Torpedo Bill C-10, A Chance to Update Broadcasting Laws for the Modern Era. We remain committed to do everything in our power to level the playing field uh, between create for creators and web giants and require big, powerful forum streamers to provide information on the revenues in Canada, financially contribute to Canadian stories and music, and make it easier for individuals to discover our culture. It's about fairness, and our government has chosen action over reaction. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Nous sommes maintenant prêts pour les questions. Opératrice, c'est à vous. Merci. Thank you. Merci. Please press star 1 at this time if you have a question. S'il vous plaît, appuyez sur étoile 1 maintenant pour poser une question. There will be a brief pause while the participants register for questions. Il y aura un court délai vous permettant de vous enregistrer dans la file d'attente pour la période de questions. Thank you for your patience. Merci de patienter. The first question is from La première question est de Christian Noël de Radio-Canada. Please go ahead. À vous la parole. Bonjour, Madame de Brisson. Comment allez-vous? Très bien. Et vous? Très bien, je vous remercie. Est-ce que ça, c'est votre je question? Comprends. Non, ben, <rire> ça serait bien. Hein? J'écoutais les entrevues récentes qui ont été faites par le ministre, en anglais notamment, et j'essaie de comprendre ce qu'il voulait dire. Quand on, Est-ce que dans le projet de loi actuel, si un individu ne sera jamais considéré comme étant un radiodiffuseur, est-ce qu'il y a une limite du nombre de followers qui existent qui font que si on dépasse 1 million, 2 millions, 10 millions, cette personne-là, à ce moment-là, sera considérée comme un diffuseur? 
Non. Alors, euh, pour être très clair, euh, la section 2.1 euh, du projet de loi euh, dit euh, que les individus ne seront jamais des radiodiffuseurs. Alors, un individu n'est jamais un radiodiffuseur euh, sous ce projet de loi. Peu importe le nombre de, si j'en comprends bien, peu importe le nombre de followers qu'il y a. Deuxième question, si vous me permettez. Euh, le, euh, certaines personnes trouvent légitimes les préoccupations concernant la protection de la liberté d'expression et euh, les limites qui pourraient s'y retrouver dans le projet de loi actuel. Euh, Au-delà de ce que vous me dites concernant l'article 2.1 que j'ai bien lu, euh, Est-ce que vous comprenez quand même qu'il y a certaines personnes, y compris l'Association canadienne des libertés civiles, qui se préoccupent que ce projet de loi-là soit en train de limiter la liberté d'expression des Canadiens? Um, alors, en premier, uh, j'aimerais souligner le fait que les pouvoirs du CRTC pour les compagnies de, de social media sont uh, très limités. Il y en a seulement trois pouvoirs pour le CRTC envers ces euh, plateformes de social media. Ce sont à demander combien ils gagnent ici au Canada, de leur demander à, à dépenser des fonds pour donner de l'appui pour nos créateurs canadiens ici au Canada, et puis euh, d'aider à la découverte de nos artistes. Ce sont les seuls trois pouvoirs. Et, et aussi que, que le, le loi sur la radiodiffusion dit très clairement dans la loi elle-même que um, le freedom of discovery, um, freedom of expression, alors l'expression est, est, est couverte, que c'est protégé. Merci. Prochaine question. Thank you. Merci. The next question is from. La prochaine question est de Kiran Leavitt de Toronto Star. Please go ahead. À vous la parole. Hi, thanks for taking our questions. I'm just trying to get a better grasp of this idea that um, only certain revenues are going to be targeted, and it, it's only going to be these um, platforms. But and I know there's been clarifications issued by uh, Stephen Gabo based on what he said on CTV over the weekend, but I'm just trying to understand, and I, I just want to present to you a scenario. If I decide to start a YouTube channel, or if someone decides to start a, a YouTube channel, and it grows really big, and I start making money on that YouTube channel because I have millions of viewers every day, it, am I ever going to be captured under these regulations or these supposed regulations? Um, no, it, it quite clearly, no, I, I want to be very, very clear about that. What is regulated, and I'm sorry, my screen just popped out here. I apologize. Um, sorry, I had just had a technical problem there. Um, the, the regulations only cover platforms, social media platforms, companies, not individuals who are posting to those platforms. Uh, okay, as a follow-up then, um, do you see it as being potentially um, a, a problem if there are people who are targeted by the platforms then under these regulations? And what I mean is um, if somebody has a YouTube channel and they're making money off of that YouTube channel, even if it's just 10,000, 20,000 views a day, and due to that revenue, um, the platforms see them as um, participating in activity that regulations under the CRTC are targeting, um, are those people going to be subject to platforms um, imposing costs on them or in, you know, acting as an intermediary between the government and those users? No. So the only question is Uh, what the revenues are for the social media platform, so for for the social media company. It is not about, uh, you know, what might be earned by individuals posting to uh, to the social media platform. 
it, this is solely, and, and that's really why I, I keep trying to bring it back to 2.1, is it is not about individuals who are posting to social media platforms. The regulations are entirely for the social media platforms themselves. And the the requirements or the order making power for the CRTC towards the social media platforms is restricted to the three things which I had mentioned, which is how much is that social media platform making as revenues in Canada, um, the ability to ask them to contribute to the creation of Canadian content from those revenues that they are earning here in Canada, and the discoverability piece, which is just to highlight Canadian creators. That is, it, it's a more restricted um, form of discoverability for social media platforms. Thank you. Next question. Thank you. Merci. The next question is from La Prochaine Question est de Jenna Coculio de Wire Report. Please go ahead. À vous la parole. Yes, thank you, and good uh, good afternoon. Um, there is still some concern that uh, from critics that the discoverability element uh, will still um, sort of quote dictate uh, what people see on their feeds, and so I was just wondering what your response to that criticism was. I, I would point to the amendment that has been tabled as being considered by committee because the discoverability piece is is actually a restricted form for social media platforms. And it is just restricted to highlighting um, Canadian creators, but there is no requirement that there be a specific proportion of Canadian content. Any of the rules that like that traditional format of when we think about it for traditional broadcasters, that's not what's in the amendment for social media companies. It, it, it's really quite a restricted um, form of discoverability. Thank you. That was uh, all my questions. There are no further questions registered at this time. Nous n'avons plus de questions pour le moment. Well, thank you, everybody. Have a good afternoon. Merci.